With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. If we talk about this question, this given question is if p vector cross q vector is equals to r vector, then which of the following statement is not true? Okay. Now, first we analyze this term. Okay. So, let's suppose this one is p vector. Okay. And this one is q vector. And we also know that p cross q will will be perpendicular to the plane containing both p vector and q vector. Okay. So, let this one is p vector and this one is q vector. So, p cross q will will be in a direction. Okay. p cross q will be in a direction. So, that fingers curl from p cross q so that the thumb or the direction of right hand thumb will give us the direction of p cross q vector okay so in this particular diagram okay in this particular diagram this will be the p cross q vector let me draw it so this will be the p cross q vector which is perpendicular to both which is perpendicular to both p vector as well as q vector now we have to select the false statement which is not true from the given options now first option is that r vector is perpendicular to p vector this one is r vector r vector is obviously perpendicular to p vector so this is true statement but we need not true statement now the second option is that r vector is perpendicular to q vector we can see in this picture that r vector is obviously perpendicular to q vector so second option is also correct but we need false statement now coming to third option that r vector is perpendicular to p vector plus q vector so p vector plus q vector will lie in the plane of p plus q vector okay p vector and q vector p plus q vector will also lie in the plane of p vector and q vector so if p vector is perpendicular to r vector q vector is perpendicular uh, perpendicular to r vector then obviously p plus q vector will also be perpendicular to r vector since r vector is perpendicular to the whole plane which is containing p vector and q vector so this option is also correct hence only correct option or only false option from these is fourth now why this is false because the p cross q vector is nothing but r vector and r vector is or cannot be perpendicular to itself it can be parallel to itself but r vector is not perpendicular to itself so this is false statement i hope you understood thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today